Hello, Peter Isisele from um, Gradness and Mentorship. So today, I want to. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests uh, from people talking about how to send emails to prospective supervisors, um, especially if you're thinking of doing a research program, either a master's or a PhD, and you need to get a supervisor before you apply for admission. So, how do you go about it? Just some few tips and some things that will help you. Number one, when you are sending an email to a professor, um, don't make that email to be too generic. You know, it's not just uh, an email you can send to two, three, four people just changing their titles. If it's professors, if they see those kind of emails, they know very well and they don't really pay attention to those emails. So you want to try to channel the email to that specific professor. And what you can do is you need to go to the professor's website and then really check, you know, uh, maybe a latest publication that the professor has done or anything recent that the professor is doing. Um, that will really help you to know what is going on currently in their lab. And when you're sending an email and if that particular paper actually aligns with your research interest, so when you are sending emails to professor, you can mention things like that. So I was maybe in the in the first paragraph, you want to just introduce yourself. Hey, my name is Peter Isisele. I have a bachelor's degree in biochemistry uh, from Nigeria and have this also CGPA and I'm interested to start a master's program in let's say fall semester and I'm looking for you know a, a, a supervisor um, then you can begin to talk about I um, I was quite interested in your area of research um, if for example if the professor is working on diabetes you can talk about that you know you've you've read through his website you saw his area of research and then if paraventure there is like a recent paper that the professor has published you can mention things like that oh i read through a recent paper that you published in social journal and it talks about this and then you know this is the conclusion from the paper and i wish you know you can propose something right something like um it would be interesting to look at this further and then you can also talk about if there is a news, maybe something the lab has won recently. You can also mention things like that, that, oh, you also saw in their website that oh, one of their recent students just graduated. It gives the professor an idea that you've really taken the time to look through his or her website and know exactly what they are doing. And then when you've talked about that, the next thing is to begin to talk about yourself. You can start to talk about what are your what are your experiences let's say you did some courses let's say you did biochemistry and in the area of obesity or nutrition as the case may be and then you begin to look at your transcript and maybe just mention a few of the courses that you did during your undergraduate that really kind of align with whatever the professor is doing and then if you've had any publication or any research experience just mention those things in the email and then you now talk about what your long what or what your goals are right okay you want to start this master's program and then after this master's program i want to enroll for a phd and then it will grow in that in that line so what that does is that it helps the professor to know that if he or she is making an investment in you is really something very very profitable um if you are trying to get a recent publication from the professor and you don't know is not sometimes they don't update their website what you can do is go to PubMed just type PubMed on, on Google and then you type the professor's name just the first and the last name you see kind of you know pub you, you when you go to PubMed you can see a place where they will say uh, recent publications you sort the publications by recent publications and then you see the ones that are the recent publications from the professor you can just read some of the papers and see what's there but caution some of these professors have do a lot of collaborative work so it's not every paper you see in PubMed that are actually direct products from their lab it might be a collaborative project so one of the things you can do is when you click on the paper try to see the one where the professor is like a, a corresponding author uh, maybe their name is located in the last in the last um, say 
their name is located in the list of authors their name is the last and then you check like corresponding author what that tells you is that the professor is actually the, the research came out from that professor's lab so that's one way to get their recent publication if you can't find anything in their website so that's basically that's basically you know what are some of, some of the things you should be looking for when you are trying to send email to professors just take your time you know make it personal don't make it to be too long and then you can add your cv and your transcript um if you don't have your transcript it, it's fine but it's advisable to include your transcript and your cv and then just make sure that you are available for you know any further conversation via skype or zoom as the case may be i wish you all the best of luck in your search for supervisor have a great day